Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a general pick a pile reading and it is about the things your sex partner needs to hear from you. So what I'll be doing is, I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to get this closer to me because I it's a little stool and I put it too far. Um, <laughs> anyway, and I'm doing um, a general pick a pile reading. Yes, what we'll do is we'll roll the die and then we'll pull the cards of the things that your uh, person needs to hear from you. And so we'll give you some direct things that they're looking to hear that will help them with their sexual desires towards you. So readings are timeless and timestamps are in the pinned comments and decks are in the description box. There's also a link to Linktree so you can find me all over the internet. And there's also links to Etsy for this exact reading. I also want to say thank you to the new subscribers and to the people who are getting Etsy readings. It's been really fun getting to know you and really experiencing your relationships. I also wanted to pull a shout out card for Valerie who made a comment on the uh, Shadow Sex Fantasies video. She was the first one. So the card that pulled up is the Reverse World card. So the Reverse World card is about unfinished lessons. So there are things going on in your life right now, Valerie, that are lessons that if you will look at the pattern, you'll see that they match things that you've had in your past. And the universe and spirit are really asking you to pay attention to the things that are unfinished so you won't have to keep learning that same lesson over and over and over again. And thank you for your support, Valerie. And I, if you would like to have a shout out reading, if you want to be the person who receives that, you can be the first person to comment on a video and uh, that will be the person who gets the shout out reading. They've actually been really fun reading like little snippets for you guys and feeling your energy. So it's been pretty awesome. Also on my channel, we have what is in the box. What's in the box is about intuition. Intuition is super important. If there's something that I roll the die and the card comes up and you say, oh, they would never want me to say that. I know that I said that last week and they got upset about it. Then that's not your message. And you'll want to either look at another pile or you can get a personalized uh, reading that will be all about you and your specific energy. I channel the messages, so they really are very specific. There's someone who left feedback that their uh, significant other actually said something that I said in a reading just several days after I said it. So there's some real connection with some of you and it's been really exciting. Also on my channel, if the camera zooms in, we'll pull a clarifying card from the Tarot of Sexual Magic. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the die with the star on it, stars on it. All right. So there are five messages that are coming from them or come that they want you to say to them. So these are not messages that they are saying to you. These are messages that they would like you to say to them. Loving you has happened before. I watch the things you post on social media. I love you. You are a dream come true. Yes, yes. I love the story of how we met. Okay. So <clears throat> this person, what they really would like to hear from you or they need to hear from you is what we actually like did the reading for. They need to hear I love you. This person really wants to know that you see the things they post on social media. I get a sense that you do, but you don't really like you know, like things or share things or comment. And this person really wants you to pay attention. They are, you know, wearing outfits and doing their hair and going to places just to kind of show you what their life is like. And they want to hear your comments on it. Also, this person really, really feels connected to you. They really feel that you have a past life connection. Loving you has happened before. They really want to know that you feel that same thing. So, you know, say that to them. Loving you has happened before or you are a dream come true or I love the story of how we met. Like, honestly, if you're really like looking at this relationship and you want to say, hey, this is my sex partner and I want to fulfill their needs. Now, you might just be in it for the sexual experience, you're friends with benefits, you don't feel that you love them, then either this is not the pile for you or 
you need to really pay attention to what's happening because this person is falling in love with you or actually like is in love with you. They want you to say this back to them. So there's a lot of love in this situation. So if you are thinking that you're in a friends with benefits situation, you, that you might be, but the person who you're in it with does not feel the same way. They feel that this is a love connection. So if you do not feel that way towards this person, it's really in your best interest and theirs for you to let them know, hey, I'm only looking for X, Y, and Z. Either the people in this connection have not had that conversation or you think you were clear about it, but they did not fully understand. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for letting me read for you. And if you feel that these messages could be further clarified, you can get this exact reading on Etsy. Also, don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all the wonderful things you can do on YouTube. And don't forget to go to the end of the video where you can find out what's in the box. So then the second group, we have the gray die and they have five messages. Group one had five as well. Union is near. You are so very loved. I look for ways to spend time with you. I fell hard when I met you. You make me feel very happy. And these cards actually came up together. The other one that came up was I love spoiling you. So the people in this group, <clears throat> you are not in a relationship right now. Obviously, union is near would be an indication that you are not in a state of union, at least not in the third dimension. But this person really loves you. They you they make excuse me. They want you to hear that that they find happiness with you. They want to know that you fell for them. They want to know that you actually try to spend time with them. I feel like for some of you, this in this group, you are in another relationship. There's a third party relationship or uh, there's a lot of like work or something that's taking a lot of your focus. And this person says, I want to spend time with you. Please make that time. Uh, this person needs to hear that they are loved. This person needs to know that you enjoy spoiling them. I sense that you are very uh, available to this person. And so you really are always there for them. You're always helping. And they're kind of concerned that it, it's a burden on you. So they really want to hear that you enjoy that. And that's why you're doing it. <clears throat> they really want to hear that you just were head over heels and you knew that they were the person. And if you feel these way in this way, it would be great for your relationship. You don't have to be shy about it. This is what they're looking for. If there are, these are the things that they want to hear you say. Now you're going to need to use your discernment because this is a group of individuals that are sharing this reading. So if your intuition says, I can't go up to that person and say, you're so very loved. I've only known them for 15 minutes. Then don't say that, you know, don't say anything to them. But if you feel in your intuition and in your heart, that that is something that you would be willing to say to them, that is definitely something that they are looking to hear. So I'm going to pull a clarifier on the I look for ways to spend time with you from the tarot of sexual magic since the camera is zooming in and the card that pulled up is <clears throat> the reverse high priestess so the reverse high priestess it, high priestess is about clouded insight or not being able to use your intuition so for some of you the person that you're dealing with <clears throat> excuse me i have a little frog in my throat the person that you're dealing with they are not seeing things clearly because they're not using their intuition. Their intuition is blocked and that intuition is being blocked with insecurity. Some of that insecurity is because of past relationships that they have had and they have not fully healed from that. Because the other one I felt hard when I met you, the clarifying card is the reverse justice card. So that's about something being unfair. It's about dishonesty in the past. This person was lied to. Things were not done in their favor. 
and they really have a they, they have some baggage that they need to unpack for themselves. That's why union has not been achieved at this point. This could potentially be a soulmate or a twin flame that you're dealing with. And uh, for some of those type of connections, there is a little bit of a, because they're learning relationships, there's a little bit of a lag on getting together. Saying these things to your person could potentially speed up the connection and allow you to get over that last bit of connection that's needed in order for union to be achieved. All right. Well, thank you so much for letting me read for you. And I look forward to reading for you again. If there's something that you need individually, you can head on over to Etsy and get that reading there. Also, don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all of the wonderful things you can do on YouTube. Now it's time for the third group with the blue die. And they, oh, they also had five. So today we had five, five, five for the messages. That's pretty cool. So five, five, five might be important to you because you're the last group. I want to suck you till I can't hold back. It's also 11, 11 on the time. I want to touch your butt. Loving you is easy to do. Loving, or excuse me, loving myself has helped me love you. Let's find our tickle spot. So I really sense that this group has not had sex yet. And so in your sex partner is really holding back because they don't know if you want to have sex with them. So they need to hear, I want to touch your butt. I want to suck you. I want to, like, you really need to communicate with this person. I really sense that you are the feminine, they are the masculine, and they are a very healed divine masculine who is not going to like make advances towards you because they want to make sure that you have a comfort level. They do love you. Loving you is easy to do. Loving myself has helped me love you. Like there is love in this connection, but this person wants to take it to a level where there's a sexual connection and it, 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 excuse me. Whew. It's hard when like three thoughts try to funnel through one mouth. <laughs> so with the way that divine masculine operates, divine masculine is going to be respectful, is going to want consent, is going to want to make sure that you are comfortable in the situation. Divine masculine wants to touch your butt, but divine masculine is never just going to come up and grab your butt. That is not a, like you, they would have to have permission to do that. They are, there's a whole wave of healed masculine energy. And because of that healed, non-toxic masculine energy, you're really not going to see those masculine, uh, persons coming at someone in a way that would make them feel uncomfortable. But you're like, oh, well, I would love to touch their butt. I'm totally cool with that. Well, yeah, but you need to actually say it. That's what they need to hear is I want to touch your butt. So you and this person have a really great connection. Like I feel that the group that's in this, I really sense that you guys have just been having a great time with this person. You really felt like, oh yeah, I think they could either be the one or, you know, I want to see if they're, they are the one. And this is really an opportunity for you to just go up and be like, hey, so are you ticklish? And have them be like, what? Yeah. Like, you know, what if I, what if I find out if you're, can I test and see if you're, you know what I mean? Like, there's going to be like slight flirting and you can lead the way on this. This person really wants you to in, initiate the sexual experience or at least open the door for them to come in. All right. Well, thank you so much for letting me read for you. I actually hope you really enjoy the sex that you're going to be having because it sounds like it's going to be really fun. And don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all the wonderful things you can do on YouTube. And now it is time for what is in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? And what is in the box is the little tiny pumpkin. All right. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. And I look forward to reading for you again.